The My Driving Pal integration with My Service Pro is designed to give you the ability to know where your employees are in their routes and to give your customers a richer, more user-friendly experience by letting them see in real time where your technicians are in their trip to their appointment. I'm going to show you how the My Driving Pal integration works and what it does, then I'll briefly discuss the setup. How does the My Driving Pal integration work and what does it do? We're going to look at both the office side and the device side. First, we'll look at the office side. When you're logged into the office side user interface of My Service Pro, go up to More, down to Utilities, and then click on Technician Tracking. Now, this is going to open up the Technician Tracking page. You're going to see any routes listed here beginning on the date from date to the current date. This date will default to today's date. For the sake of this demo, I'm just going to go ahead and set this date back to January 1st of this year, 2017. This is just a test company, so we're not going to see very many routes. If there were a lot more routes, we'd have a scroll bar over here and you'd be able to go back through the history. This table shows the technician name, the work order number, the in route time, and the arrive time. Maps are only going to show for active routes. So an active route is any route that does not yet have an arrive time. To view a map, just click on the button next to that route and you will see the route information down here. You can scroll down and what you're going to see is this particular technician's trip. Point A, where the start point is, or the start point, to point B, the ending point. And behind this A is a little green dot. As the technician moves throughout his trip, that green dot is going to move along this route, so you'll be able to see exactly where the technician is at any given point in time. If the technician happens to go off the prescribed route, the green dot will appear wherever the technician is. So if the technician goes straight up this road, you'll see the green dot go that way as opposed to where the projected path is. I'll just point out up here that we do have the in route time for this trip so you can get an idea of when the technician left. So if a customer would call you, you could come to this page, locate the route, and give an estimate of when the technician is going to be there. And I'll say again that routes are only available, tracking is only available for currently active trips. So these other trips down here that are in the past, they're completed because they have an in route time and an arrive time. If you try to view the routes for any of these, clicking on the button, you'll just be told that that trip has expired and you'll just see a generic map here. So just one last time, the only actual routes or tracking routes that you can see are for currently active trips. On the device side, the tech does not need to do anything different. When the technician taps in route on the assignment, an email is sent to the office basically to any email addresses you specify in the setup, which we'll look at in a little bit. That email simply lets you know the technician is now on the way to the appointment, and that email contains a link that you can click on to come to a page like this to see the route. Tapping in route will also send a text message or email to the customer informing the customer that the technician is on the way and it will also provide the same link so the customer can click on it at any time during the trip to get an idea of the tech's ETA. Now when the technician gets to the destination and taps arrived, the route is automatically ended and the customer will no longer have access to tracking that technician. And in case you're wondering, well, what if the technician forgets to tap arrived? Will the customer be able to track the technician wherever he goes? We've anticipated this, and in the case where a technician does not tap arrived, the trip will automatically be deactivated shortly after the technician arrives on the appointment or arrives to the appointment location. 
Now regarding setup, the first step is to let us know you want to use My Driving Pal so we can activate a few things behind the scenes. After we've done that, you can head to the setup yourself. And what you want to do to get to setup is go to more, down to setup, and then all the way down to technician tracking settings. The setup's pretty easy. You choose what methods of communication you want. So do you want emails sent to the customer? And I'd suggest clicking yes. If you want emails sent to the office, which of course you do, you check that and put in whatever email addresses you want. If you want more than one address, just separate them with either a comma or a semicolon. If you want your customer to get a text message, check text message as well, or send text message to customer. So I'd suggest checking all three of these. And then whichever technicians you want to use the My Driving Pal integration, simply locate that technician. We have the name of the technician and user ID listed here, and just check whichever ones you want to use the My Driving Pal integration. And I'm going to scroll down here because you want to always remember after you select, you want to save. So select and save. Save any changes that you might make. And that's a quick overview of the use and setup of the My Driving Pal integration with My Service Pro. If you have any questions, email us at support at myserviceforce.com or use our live chat on the My Service Force Business Center at www dot myserviceforce.com. Thanks.